Hello, hello, my lovely YouTube family. How are you guys doing today? Praise Jesus for everybody being here. Thank you for joining my channel. Don't forget, if you are new here, to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's be friends. We can do nail art together or we can just talk or whatever you guys want to do. But anyways, I love you all and I really hope everything is being blessed to you today. Thank you, Jesus. But anyways, we have got this hand here. This is my Glamour Liz hand. I really do enjoy this hand. I had like a lot of hands. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to make these nail beds longer. Um, now, what I've done, let me see if I can get it out here. I took a tip just like this because I don't like to glue down my tips. I did that with my uh, red iguana hand and I hate it. It ruined it. Um, I can still use it. Let me show you what it looks like. But, like, it has torn the silicone and just all kinds of stuff. I still use it, though. Um, but uh, this was one of their first hands that came out. And, I mean, at first I liked it, but I didn't because these nail beds uh, on this hand are not um, not very far. It only goes up to about right here. So when you put the nail in and you go to work on it, the nails fall out. So I had to glue them down. Well, because of that, it ruined the silicone. But you can still use it. <clears throat> I just use it like this instead. And, um, but anyway, Glamour Liz, beautiful hand. Very, ex very long um, nail beds, uh, or you know, the cuticle is. And you can just push it all the way up in there and they will stay. But I'm going to show you how to um, make them longer. I'm going to use nail tips. I'm going to actually use these here. Um, I've had these for a while, uh, but I'm just going to take these and I'm going to glue them to the end of these nails. That way it'll make them a lot longer and that way it won't damage your nails. So anyways, let me get the glue and everything out and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, I'm going to use this uh, new nail drill that I got from EC Basket. Super amazing. I do like it. The only downfall that I don't like, very small too. Like I know it looks big on camera, but it's absolutely the tiniest. And I actually love it for that design. The only thing that I wish that was different about it was I love the handpiece. Absolutely love it. The only thing that I don't care for is that it doesn't have a locking mechanism. You literally just push it in and pull it out. Well, some of the drill bits got stuck. And I could not get them out. Like, I literally had to use a pair of, uh, what are they called? plier lot things or, oh my god, I can't think of what it's called. Um, anyways, I had to take that to help pull it out because they're not falling out. I'm going to tell you that. They're going to stay in there really good. But some of the drill bits that they sent with it um, kind of got stuck. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to use this. I'm going to turn it up to about 7, about, well, about 5,000. We're going to do about 5,000. Or maybe uh, 3500 because um, it's actually really powerful. It's low vibration and I'm just really happy with it. Like I said, that's the only problem that I've seen with it. I'd rather have like a where you could twist it to lock it or, in a, or open it. But for the main being, the drill is actually really nice and affordable. Um, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And I'll have Glamour Liz linked down below for you guys. Now I know I'm terrible about linking stuff down below. But <laughs> I'm going to try to start being better at it. So... Anyways, we're just going to file on top of this. Just be careful. Don't hit your silicone. Just make sure to get those sidewalls. And if you're not com comfortable with using a drill, you can absolutely use a file if you want. Now, I usually don't care too much for using a drill on my silicone hand, so I've been trying to practice with it a little bit better. Because you can tear these up. I mean, you can even take the nail out and file it before you put it in if you like, and that way you don't ruin your silicone hand. I have a terrible 
problem with like hitting my hand or my nails as well, which ruins my nails, but that's okay. You're just gonna go through and do all these nails. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm taking these tips and I'm just gluing them onto on the end of the nails that are already in there. And that way it's just easier to make these nail bed or these nails longer. And you don't have to glue anything down. You don't have to use forms. You, don't have, you know, if you prefer to use forms, you can definitely do that. Or you can even use dual forms if you like. But I just like to take the other t a different tip and just glue it to the end of the nail tip so anyway so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to file these smooth uh, especially right there where it's glued at you know that way it'll make it flat and really smooth when you apply your product and you want to make sure that you drill you file the whole nail make it rigid that way the acrylic or gel or whatever you're using is able to adhere to this nail but all right you need to go ahead and just do all of these nails and then i will be right back Okay, so now I've got all these filed, and I'm going to be using this Cody, this Cody or Koda rubber base gel. It came from Amazon. I'm thinking I won this from Princess Nails Diana a long time ago. Um, I still have some left, so I'm definitely going to use it while I have it. No sense in wasting. Anyways. I don't really remember where I got it from, if you want me to be truthfully honest, but I do know that it came from Amazon. Hey, here we go, finally once again. So I have some of this Yayogi uh, slip solution that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna just put it in one of these. I'm just gonna scrape just a little bit in it because it doesn't take much. It does seem to have evaporated a little bit, but not as bad as some that I've used. So I'm going to be using the Yayogi White. And I'm just going to grab a poly gel tool here.
All right, guys, so this one is the Yoyogi Nude Pink. I love this color. It's super pretty. Let me just say about this poly gel, though. This is one of my favorite poly gels. It is, it's not runny. It's not too stiff. It literally is, it's just smooth. Um, very easy to apply. You don't have to worry about this running into your cuticles or anything like that. You can, you can manage this poly gel very well. Um, but I, I really love Yoyogi. They have some really amazing products. But, uh, their poly gel kits are so affordable. Um, all of their kits are so affordable. But you can go on their website, you know, www.yoyogi.com. And I have a code down below for you guys that you guys can use and save you some money on it. But it's very affordable, guys. Like, if you're looking for a kit, if you're brand new and you just don't know what you're looking for or if you're, you know, tight on money and things like that and you're not wanting to buy a, a really expensive kit anywhere from like $30 to, to $50, these kits are very affordable. Um, and um, I can, like, for me, like, I really, really, really prefer Yoyogi the most. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Like I said, you know, you Yoyogi, and I love SXCE. I love uh, Burano. I have several poly gel kit kits that I have that I enjoy, but Yoyogi is one of those. But like I said, I'll have um, I'll have it linked down below with my discount code. That way you can use that. Uh, I'm pretty sure my discount code is Melinda, and that way you can go and save you some money. And it helps me out, and it helps you guys out. And I appreciate that very much from you guys if you use that code. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get ready and finish this video. I hope you have enjoyed it so far. Um, but like I said, I highly recommend it for you guys. Guys, don't forget to go enter that giveaway that I still have going for the Yoyogi Gel Polish Kit and the Burano Full Kit. You've got two days left to enter, so I'll leave a link up above of that video. You can enter that. Enter that. Make sure to follow the rules. Share the video. The more you share, the more entries you get, but it'll be up above for you to click on. You got two days left, guys, and I'm going to draw the winner for that. Okay, guys, so I had this silver gel polish here that I ordered from AliExpress. Super cute, really nice, but I'm going to do a freehand design for you guys. Um, I'll have it linked down below for you guys so you can go check it out. I'm going to dig it from AliExpress, which I am not crazy about ordering from there anymore since they applied so many high uh, shipping rates on everything. So, But anyways, it'll still be linked down below.
right guys so I'm gonna be using this model ones um, matte top coat I don't know how it's gonna look on top of this um, uh, the silver but we're gonna see what it looks like So once you get it out, it's going to look like this. You're going to take some acetone, any kind of acetone that you have. You're going to take that and you're going to go over all of this and wipe off that um, inhibition layer. Like I said, Matt, uh, Matt, I can't talk today. Matt Top Coat has one as well. So you want to make sure you go around and just wipe all that off. And that is what it actually looks like now with a matte top coat. Actually looks really cool. I like that. Very pretty. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoy it. I absolutely love this. I'm always fascinated with like galaxy nails, star nails, things like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved it. But let me know what you guys think. I think it's super pretty. But yeah, if you are new here, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. Let's be friends. If you're already subscribed, you guys know exactly what I think. I absolutely adore each one of you guys. But anyways, hope you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day. Make sure to also hit that notification so you get all my recent uploads. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Don't forget I got a giveaway going on as well. But I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!